Hi, it's Dr. Schmidt. I want to go over a concept that I kind of figured out in the last few months. And if you saw a video I did back in September of 2021, it's called Collar Up Focal Infections. I'll put it right here above my head. And this video talks about small infections in the sinuses, uh, here, ears, nose, around the eyes, behind the eyes, in the mouth, gums, teeth, jawbone, and down even in here. And these small focal, meaning focused infections, can be hidden. They can have no fever, they can have no pain, no redness during an oral exam, but yet there's a tiny bit of bacteria and they're uh, secreting mucus, pus, uh, chemical waste products, also enzymes that they use to survive, but the enzymes are bad for you living in this human body. So that uh, concept has been phenomenal and um, myself and a lot of other doctors are treating topically those areas, putting drops in the ears, topically here on the neck, treating with the water pick in the mouth, uh, using uh, Navage, for example, to clear out the sinuses. That's been amazing. So, but let's accelerate that thought a little bit more. And here's the next uh, extension of that idea. And um, so the, the deal is you have gravity pulling down uh, fluids and chemicals from the torso and the head to your feet in your ankles, your shins, your calf muscles. And all day, you're sitting or standing, sitting or standing, you're upright. And by gravity, these things are going down to your uh, feet. And if your tissues and your structure, your protein structures, like your lymphatic system, your arterial system, your veins, your muscles, if they're not strong, then um, the fluid will stay at your feet. And when you're healthy, that fluid moves up easily. And how does it move up? There's a concept called the fourth phase of water, uh, also known as exclusion zone water. And it's there's an electrical charge between the inside of the arteries and other vessels in the body versus the fluid inside that vessel. And so there's a, a repulsion between the, the artery or the, the vessel, I should say, and the fluid, and it can go up uh, against gravity, kind of like how a tree operates. They soak water up from the ground and other nutrients and it goes up uh, just naturally. So you can't think that the heart is pumping blood from your, your big toe or your small toe up your leg. The heart's not a pump like that because the amount of pressure that is entering the heart is equal to the amount of pressure that's leaving the heart. So the heart is more like a dam and it um, controls the speed at which the blood flows. Okay, so keep that concept in mind. When you're eating sugar, junk food, processed food, and you're not exercising, and you're not maintaining the physical structure of your tissues, your bones, all your connective tissue, all that stuff. When that stuff starts to break apart, now you start to get a collection of fluid and then waste products uh, in your feet. And I just need to expand a little bit ab about these waste products. So picture a bacterial infection somewhere in your body, or maybe from head to toe, too, much, um, too many pathogenic organisms, whether it's bacteria, a parasite, fungus, whatever, they all create mucus pus, enzymes that they that they need that your body doesn't need and doesn't like, and then um, chemicals such as ammonia, melondialdehyde, acetaldehyde. Um, there's a whole list of chemicals that are known to be made by bacteria within the body, and even Lyme disease, of, of course. Um, these organisms in the Lyme category, they create these these chemicals. These chemicals destroy your tissue. Ammonia, for example, it's 11 pH. It's very, very alkaline. That is melting energy. It's, um, it creates, uh, li it liquefies your tissues. Isn't that gross? But that's the way it is. And when you're dead, your body's on the ground, and those organisms are trying to eat your body and turn it into soil, it's very helpful that they make a lot of ammonia and other alkaline chemicals to liquefy your tissues to return that back to the soil. And when your tissues are liquid, it's easier for other organisms. I'm talking microscopic or maybe bigger. It's easier for them to eat your tissues and, and make your body soil once again. So it's super gross, but that's the way it is. You're living on planet Earth. It's a battle between you and Mother Nature uh, in that regard. And you, you need to maintain your, your physical structure, your cell membranes, uh, your DNA integrity, and the expression of your DNA. So now... To conclude this idea, all day you're standing up and fluids go down to your feet, ankles, shins, calf muscles, 
And then at night, now you lay down. Now you're horizontal to gravity. And these organisms go from your feet up your legs. And then the mucus and the fluids just by, um, uh, by mass action kinetics, by movement, goes up to your brain, your torso. It affects your, your lungs and your heart. And so this is how some people wake up in the middle of the night with an anxiety attack. I've had patients like this. They wake up in the morning and they're more sore, they're more stiff. It takes 20 minutes for them to walk it off. Okay, so and they get moving and their joints start to loosen up. It's the same concept with gout pain. Uh, gout is crystals in the blood. You lay down, you're, you're in bed, you fall asleep, and you wake up two hours later because your gout joint hurts, whether it's your big toe, your elbow, your hip, or whatever. Those crystals have collected because you're not moving and gravity is dispersed throughout your body like this because you're horizontal to gravity. So the solution is to, when you... When you're taking pills all day, you know, three times a day, you know, you're guaranteed to uh, assist the organs that are around your stomach, you know, like from like up to here and down to your knees, let's say. Okay, but treating topically above the collar, like I, I'll t go over some of these sample um, products, treating topically above the collar is important and then treating topically below the knees is important. This is a new concept in the holistic healthcare field. I'm sure I'm not the first one to think about this, but now more than ever in my 20 plus career, 20 plus year career, I'm having people put various oils and uh, ozonated oils, for example, or essential oils on their calf muscles or on their feet, um, on the tendons around their ankles in order to kill off organisms that have dropped down during the day to their feet and below their knees. So with this concept, I've had a lot of people get really cool success. And I'll give you two right now. I have a woman, um, long story short, she's got problems like GERD and acid reflux. And I asked her about her feet. Do you have any symptoms below your knees? And she said, yeah, I have foot pain every day for 10 years. Well, I had her put an ozonated coconut oil in the office right then and there on the bottom of her feet. And she, I said, okay, put your socks and shoes back on. And she did. And when she stood up, I said, how's your, how's your pain? She goes, it's gone. 100% gone instantly, just like that. And that was about two and a half months ago. And she still has no pain whatsoever um, on, the, on her feet. And just by putting something there topically. Um, I have another patient who is in the UK. He's got parasites. And I have a few people that have so many parasites in their body, they can feel them moving, swimming around in their, in their legs, in their brain, in their lungs, in their arms. He's one of those cases, and it's really difficult. He's been getting better, and he's taking a lot of pills, getting into the stomach, killing off organisms. He sees him in the toilet when he goes to the bathroom. But one day on the phone, I said to him, look, I got this new idea that during the day, parasites will go to your shins and your uh, below your knees, and then during the night, they crawl up. When you're laying down, they crawl up to your brain, to your torso. He goes, yeah, that's why every night before I go to bed, I walk or jog one to two miles in order to get those organisms down away from my head and away from my torso so that I can sleep better. I feel better when those bastards are down by my feet. That's how it goes. So for him, I'm having him apply ozonated oil on his legs in an attempt to try to at night, in an attempt to try to kill these organisms during the night. Um, so that we can tackle them uh, from head to toe, basically. Here are some of the examples of the oils that we're using. This is ozonated olive oil, and the company's called Pure O3, P-U-R-O-3. They have a variety of oils, uh, sunflower, coconut, olive oil, and they're all ozonated. So when you open up the jar and you smell it, it smells like you're standing next to a waterfall. That's ozone. Ozone is O3, and it's oxygen. And I was, I saw an article on the internet. I, you know, the internet's always right, but um, this article said that Nikola Tesla invented ozone machines for our benefit, so that we can get more oxygen. White blood cells use oxygen as bullets to kill bad organisms, and then of course our good cells, our body cells, love oxygen uh, for energy and uh, for vitality. This is a product called CX4 Fung DX from Systemic Formulas. Um, they have a series of products that begin with the letter CX, meaning concentrated. 
So CX backtracks for bacteria is another example. And you can put this in your ears and various locations in the navage, for example, to clear out your sinuses. I don't really use that below the knees, but I do use from systemic formulas. <clears throat> this product is called EE oil, and this one's called WO oil. Now the EE oil, first ingredient is spearmint, second ingredient, ingredient is wormwood. Then they have anise, peppermint, lanolin. They have others, you know, five more oils in there. The WO oil is worm seed oil, eucalyptus, wintergreen. And this smells more powerful. This is very uh, powerfully smelling. And when you put this on your uh, calf muscles or on your feet, on the bottom of your feet, it soaks in. The bottom of your feet is a unique sort of skin tissue. Just picture the, your armpit skin. There's a lot of sweating that goes on there, and it's um, sort of a detox organ in and of itself, right? This skin here is different than this skin here because of the sweating and all that. Now picture your feet, same thing, times 10. So when people are really toxic, their feet stink really bad. And when somebody's uh, urinary bladder doesn't work very well, their feet uh, smells like urine, and their, their whole body smells like urine, but um, it's just a, an example of how you can have a detoxification organ like the bladder. Now, it doesn't work very well, so therefore the feet have to take over. And then people can use a foot bath, and they put their feet into some water with some salt and some electrodes, and they turn on the machine, and it's coursing electricity and cleaning out the feet. Um, I used to do that all the time. Personally, I did that like every night for like six months back when I had black mold. The... Um, EE oil is more relaxing and soothing for the muscles um, as opposed to the WO oil for everywhere else to try to get through the skin and to penetrate and to tackle parasites. But I do have a guy, he was suffering from uh, calf cramping every night uh, for many, many years, and then this uh, is the solution for him. So it's not just like a relaxing um, oil that smells pleasant. That second ingredient is wormwood oil that kills parasites. So this is going to be a good solution for him, for his calf muscles to prevent cramping while he's taking pills into his stomach. The last one I want to show you is these oil, essential oil. Uh, this is from Young Living, and their um, competitor is uh, doTERRA, and they have a similar oil. And I'm not going to get into they, These two companies hate each other, but whatever. This uh, formula is also very strong, and it kills off a wide variety of organisms. So you can put this, and we, I do muscle testing. Um, a lot of holistic uh, naturopathic doctors do muscle testing, and then they can figure out like which product works best for you in what location. So for some people, I'll have them do like EE oil, like maybe on their gut, on their stomach, and then the WO oil goes on the bottom of their feet, and then they're using the Pure O3 ozonated oil on their gums and I have a patient who had a migraine and the pain started here it went up the right side to the back of her neck and then down to the back of her uh, just below her shoulder blade and it was miserable and she couldn't think straight the pain was so bad so I tested her and she needed um, WO oil on the pain spots here and she needed the, I think it was the ozonated olive oil here where the pain started. And then I gave her one supplement for um, hormones because she just started ovulation on that day. And then um, later she said that she pulled out of that migraine faster than any other migraine she's ever had in her life. And usually in the past, she would just take a whole bunch of pills, 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 pills. But... Now we know to apply these oils topically. Now, why is it that this isn't known very well? It's not known very well because uh, nutritional supplement companies are not allowed to say that these products that they make can be applied anywhere on the body in any other way other than taking them orally into the stomach. So this is like an FDA, you know, it's a bureaucratic rule that a company cannot say to apply an oil topically or they cannot say to put you know, an, uh, a pill or a wafer under the tongue and let it sit under the tongue. They can't even say that. They can only say take it by mouth and ingest it into your stomach. Now, 
So consider that. That's why this information is not very well known. The other reason why it's not very well known is because it takes a super huge holistic viewpoint to figure this kind of stuff out. And luckily, um, I'm in that position. Um, I haven't taken health insurance since 2005, which places me into the free market. And therefore, I have to get you better. That's my job. And you pay me to help you get you better. As opposed to other doctors that take insurance, they get paid whether you get better or not. So it's, it's forced me into this huge holistic viewpoint. And I've said this multiple times on my YouTube channel. I'm a better doctor now than what I was six months ago. And it's still true. I've been saying this for years. And um, so adding in the topical treatments on these locations, wherever it's needed, um, below the knees, feet, wherever, above the collar, has been phenomenal. And I'm having put people put stuff on topically more now than ever before in my career. I've been at this since 1998. I've been studying it since 1993, hardcore holistic nutrition. All right, there's my update. And um, if you need help, call the office. Okay, bye.